All right, so I'm going to show you how to make a uh, simple radius gauge just in case you need it for checking either neck or bridge or some other kind of radius and you don't feel like going out and buying them from a luthier supply store. So first thing I need is a sheet of paper. This is legal paper, which is eight and a half by 14 inches and I need to cut a strip off of it. So there's that. I got a straightened out paper clip here. I need to poke a hole in one end, and then I need to measure out the radiuses, the radii that I need. Now, a good tip when you're using the tape measure, don't use the zero point because it's not exactly certain where that is, but the one is easy to find. So the first thing I'm gonna make is a uh, fender which is nine and a half inch radius, and I'm gonna have mark that at 10 and a half. And then I'm gonna make a Gibson one as well. All right. So now I need to draw an arc on this sheet of paper. If I had a thumbtack, I'd use that, but I don't, so I'll use the tip of my jackknife. Okay, there's a nine inch radius, it's this upper line. Now I'm gonna move down a bit and then do my 12 inch radius. If I don't pull against the paper, I don't get a good straight line. And we'll do one more at nine and a half. Now, if you wanted, you could make this um, out of uh, wood, I suppose. And if it had like a, you know, a 90 degree bend or glue a bit onto the end of it, then you could hold your jackknife against that and then use a screw or something in the other end to do your arcs with. But this is good enough for my purposes because I trust myself to cut straight lines by hand. So this is 9.5, this is 12, 12, 9.5. And there we go. I suppose I could have made them a little longer. The reason I wanted these is because I bought this bridge online and the seller didn't know what the radius was. And believe it or not, it looks to be nine and a half because the 12 inch radius rocks on it means that's a greater radius than this bridge. So there you go. Couldn't be simpler. <laughs>